I'm here in Karn Shrine and I just thought I'd do one of the consecration days prayers here when I'm here. So I'm following the St. Louis de Montfort total consecration to Jesus through Mary. So this is day 10. So we start with the uh, Veni Creator Spiritus and the Ave Mari Stella. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Veni Creator Spiritus, come, O Creator, spirit blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thee, grace and heavenly aid, to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Great Paraclete, to thee we cry, O highest gift of God most high, O font of life, O fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts be known, the finger of God's hand we own. The promise of the Father thou, who dost the tongue with power endow. Kindle our senses from above and make our hearts overflow with love, with patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us drive the foe we dread, and grant us thee through peace instead. So shall we not, with thee for guide, turn from the path of life aside. O may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, and thee through endless times confessed of both the eternal spirit best. All glory from the ages run to be, be to the Father and the Son who rose from death, the same to thee, O Holy Spirit, eternally. Amen. Ave Mari, Mari Stella. Hail bright star of ocean, God's own mother blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest. Taking the sweet Ave, which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing Eva's name. Break the captive's fetters, light our blindness pour, light on blindness pour, all our ills expelling, every bliss implore. Show yourself a mother, may the divine, may the word divine, born for us, your infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin all excelling, mildest of the mild, fruit from guilt preserve us, pure and undefiled. Fill our life all spotless, make our way secure, till we find in Jesus joy forevermore. Through the highest heaven, to the almighty three, God, Son and Spirit, one same glory be. I'm just going to the readings. So the first reading is Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 to 11. Judge not that you may not be judged, for with the judgment you judge, you shall be judged, and with what you measure, your measure out. It shall be measured to you again. And why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye and you do not see the beam which is in your own eye? Or how do you say to your brother, let me cast the speck out of your eye and behold, a beam is in your own eye. You hypocrite, cast out first the beam out of your own eye and then shall you see to cast out the speck out of your brother's eye. Do not give that which is holy to dogs, neither cast your pearls before swine, lest perhaps they trample them under their feet, and in turning upon you they tear you. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, 
and him who knocks it shall be opened. Or what man there is among you of whom if his son shall ask bread will give him a stone? Or if he shall ask him for a fish he will give him a serpent? If you then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him the second reading the imitation of christ book one chapter 25 when a man has come to the point where he seeks comfort from nothing created then he begins perfectly to rely to relish God. Then likewise will he be well content, however matters happen to him. Then will he neither rejoice over having much nor sorrowful for having little. He will commit himself wholly and confidently to God who is for him all in all, to whom nothing perishes or dies, but all things live to him and serve him as a nod without delay. Always remember your end and that time once lost never returns. Without care and diligence, you shall never acquire, acquire virtues. If you begin to grow lukewarm, sorry, if you begin to grow lukewarm, you will begin to be uneasy. But if you give yourself to fervour, you shall find great peace and the grace of God and love of virtue will make you feel less labour. A fervent and diligent man is ready for all things. It is a greater task to resist vices and passions than to toil at bodily labours. He who does not shun small defects, little by little falls into greater ones. You shall always rejoice in the evening if you spend your day profitably. Watch over yourself, stir you up yourself, abomish yourself, and whatever becomes of others, do not lecture, neglect yourself. The greater violence you offer to yourself, the greater progress you shall make. Third reading, through devotion to Mary. The devils who are skillful thieves wish to surprise us unawares and strip us. They watch day and night for the favourable moment. For that end they go around about us incessantly to devour us and to snatch from us in one moment by a sin all the graces and merits we have gained for many years. Their malice, their experience, their stratagems and their number ought to make us fear this misfortune immensely, especially when we see how many persons fuller of grace than we are, richer in virtues, better founded in experience and far better exalted in sanctity, have been surprised, robbed and unhappily pillaged. Ah, how many cedars of Lebanon, how many stars of the firmament have we not seen fall miserably and in a twinkling of an eye lose all their height and their brightness whence comes that sad and curious change it was not for lack of grace which is lacking to no man but it was for lack of humility they thought perhaps capable of guarding their own treasures they trusted in themselves relied upon themselves they thought their house secure enough their coffers strong enough to keep the precious treasure of grace. It is because of that scarcely perceptible reliance upon themselves, through though all through all the while it seemed to them, though sorry, though all the while it seemed to them that they were relying only on the grace of God, that the most just Lord permitted them to be robbed by leaving them to themselves. Alas, if they, had put no, if they had but known the admirable devotion which I will unfold presently, they would have confided their treasure to a virgin powerful and faithful. They would have kept it, who would have kept it for, for them as if 
it had been her own possession. Nay, who had ever taken it as an obligation of justice on herself to preserve it for them. Spiritual exercises. We begin by making an examination of conscience. Oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because of thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who are all good and deserving of my love. I firmly resolve, with, thy, with the help of thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasions of sin. Amen. Sushipe Prayer of Saint Ignatius of Leona. Take, Lord, and receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding, and my entire will, all I have, and call my own. You have given all to me. To you, Lord, I, re I return it. Everything is yours. Do with it what you will. Give me only your love and your grace, which is enough for me. Amen. Miraculous Medal Prayer of St. Maximilian Colby. O Mary, receive, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. And for those who do not have recourse to you, especially the enemies of the church and those recommended to you. Amen. Act of reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. O Most Holy Virgin Mary. Sorry. O Most Holy Virgin Mother. We listen with grief to the complaints of your Immaculate Heart, surrounded with the thorns placed therein at every moment by the blasphemies and ingratitudes of ungrateful humanity. We are moved by the ardent desire of, a, of loving you as our Mother and promoting a true devotion to your Immaculate Heart. We therefore kneel before you to manifest the sorrow we feel for the grievances that people cause you and to atone by our prayers and sacrifices for the offences who, with which they return your love. Obtain for them and for us the pardon of so many sins. Hasten the conversion of sinners that they may love Jesus and, their, and cease to offend the Lord. Already so much offended. Turn your eyes of mercy towards us that we may love God with all our heart on earth and enjoy him forever in heaven. Amen. Concluding prayer. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that by the message of an angel, your word should receive flesh from the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant unto your supplicants that we who believe that she is truly the mother of God may be assisted by her intercession before you through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.